Have you ever found yourself limited on Canva by the designs available or the fonts at your disposal? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can step up your Canva designs by utilizing the website Creative Market. Creative Market is an online marketplace where designers from all over the world can put up their designs for sale. And every single Monday, they give away six free goods that can help you with your designs. So I'm going to walk you through how to use something downloaded from Creative Market on Canva so that you can learn how to utilize this hack in your business. If you would like to support this channel, feel free to use the link in the description to create your free Creative Market account. You can also go to LaShondaBrown.com if you would like to join my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even some stock photos for free. Without further ado, let's hop in. The first time that you go to Creative Market, you're going to see this at the bottom. Get six free goods and 10% off. So if you've never created an account, make sure you click here to continue. If you've already created an account, you can always refer to the free goods by clicking in the top left corner. You can also open a shop and sell your own stuff on Creative Market for 40% commission, or you can become a partner and you can refer new customers to Creative Market you'll earn 10% of every purchase for an entire year. And some of the top partners have earned over $30,000 per year. So if you're looking for a way to generate some passive income, you could literally create a job for yourself just referring people to Creative Market. So something to consider. Now, if you click on Get Free Goods, you're going to see what's available for this week. Remember, this changes every single week. So to maximize this hack for your business, I would recommend coming back every single week and seeing what's available. If you think you might use it one day, even if you don't see a use for it in this moment, go ahead and download it and save it in folders on your computer. I recommend saving them to a Dropbox folder. You can label the different folders, fonts, templates, stock photos. And so perhaps when the need does arise, you may be able to meet that need with something you got for free rather than paying. But if you find yourself in a pinch where you need some photos or graphics or templates, hop back over to Creative Market and purchase what you need. Then you can download those assets from Creative Market and use them wherever you'd like. Again, in this example, I'm going to show you how to use it in Canva, but you can use these elements in any design program that you have. So now let's go ahead and hop on over to Canva. One of my favorite things to do is to step up my Canva invitations with assets downloaded from Creative Market. If you would like to do this in your business, then go to Invitation and click on Portrait, and that will reveal all of the templates you see here. Then we're going to click on blank. One thing to remember is the wedding invitation category is always going to be the fanciest one of the bunch. And so I like to start there and click on see all. If you continue to scroll, you start to see things like gold foil assets and flowers. And so I'm going to keep scrolling until I find one that I think is a really good fit for what I'm trying to invite people to. In this example, I am trying to invite people to my tea party. And so I want something that is fairly streamlined and simple, but I want to step it up by adding in what I just got on Creative Market. So I really like this one here, but what I don't like about the design are these flowers. So I'm going to click and delete those. And then what I want to do is to highlight everything that is here and I want to lock it down. That way, when I start to add in assets from Creative Market, I don't move around the design. Then I'm going to click on uploads and I've already uploaded some assets. But if you want to upload some, you can click on upload an image. You would open the folder that Creative Market provided you and then drag in whatever you want it to use. Now this particular one I bought for $12 and it's got backgrounds, 
it's got some different swatches, and it's got some elements all cut out. So because I want to invite people to a tea party, I want to customize the invitation with tea party elements. And so what I'm going to do now is drag in my teapot and position that forward. And then I'm going to drag in these flowers here and resize them over the teapot. Now what you can also do is you can add elements to the top. There are a few more to choose from. So if I wanted to put one more bunch of flowers, I like this one as well. Now you may run into this where the assets are really, really big. One of the things that you'll find on Creative Market is these designs are pretty high res. So you can reduce the size and I'll actually show you guys how to do that. So I use this free program called Photoscape all the time if I need to do quick edits on photos. And if I click on editor and I go to that watercolor tea party folder, it's going to open up everything that was available in that folder. And you can see by the speed at which it's uploading, these are really, really big files. So all you need to do is you need to upload what you need to Photoscape. And we'll go ahead and let everything load in. And then you're going to simply resize it by clicking on the button down here. So you can see the reason why this particular image did not upload to Canva was because it was over the limit, which is 30 megabytes. So what we're going to do is just click on resize and we're going to drag this down and you can see how the size is changing here. I'm just going to put it at 50%, but you could do whatever you, whatever size you wanted. Honestly, you could, you could slide it down to 75% and still meet the size requirement, but I'm going to bring it down to 50. And then all you need to do is hit save and we're going to save as instead so it doesn't overwrite the file and we're going to say small flower and then we'll save it and now you can see the size of that file is only eight megabytes so if you go back to canva and we're going to go back to our design Now we can upload that image. So we'll go back to upload an image. We're going to click on desktop and type in small flower and then open. And as you can see, now we're not getting that error message because it's not too big. So what I like about using these flowers is they're also reflected in this teacup down here, which I think is perfect. So we'll go ahead and click on the flowers and we may even want to rotate them, which we can do here. And we'll bring those in and just add them to the top. And so you can kind of play around with how you want the flowers to be laid out. I kind of like that because it looks like they're going into the gold foil. And so now that you've locked these down, all you need to do is unlock it so that you can move it and make adjustments. So I like to lock down my assets before I bring in the stuff from Creative Market. Otherwise, I feel like everything is all over the place. And then you can just click and drag to your heart's content to make sure you have things where you want it. After that, you can customize the font and then you can go ahead and save it. So in this case, I was not able to find a design within Canva that really fit my needs. But by going to Creative Market, I was able to bring in some elements that still allowed me to design my own invitation, but it took it to the next level. So now that you guys have learned this fun Canva hack, I want to go ahead and share with you the secret word for this video. 
This is a part of the Canva Create-a-thon where if you find all 25 secret words in my videos and you are the first person to let me know, you will win a Squarespace website valued at $2,000. This is my way to give back to the community and create more content to help you to bootstrap your biz in 2020. The secret word is creative. If you want to grab the free goods for this week, make sure that you click on the link in my description to create a new creative market account and support this channel. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I teach people how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to talk for now.